been in a situation where your body needs to react instantly? Where you need to perform a highly physical and strenuous task? I know I have. As an athlete, a waitress, and a university student, I am continuously faced with situations where my body needs to react and perform. Whether it be sprinting at the end of a race, greeting 10 customers at once, or finishing an exam with one minute to go. And there is one special molecule that my life depends on to complete all of these activities. And that is the one and only epinephrine. Epinephrine, commonly referred to as adrenaline, is a peptide hormone and a neurotransmitter secreted by the medulla in the adrenal glands and released into the nervous system when the body needs to react in either fight or flight mode. Let's take a closer look at this marvelous molecule and see how its structure assists it in its function. Epinephrine has a molecular weight of 183.2 grams per mole and consists of nine carbons, 13 hydrogens, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. The molecular shape of epinephrine can be seen here, with all carbons being black, oxygen being red, hydrogen being white, and nitrogen being blue. This molecule has three hydroxyl groups seen here, here, and here, all of which have one oxygen bound to the carbon and one hydrogen bound to the oxygen. There is also a six carbon ring structure with three double bonds, along with another three carbons, which are attached to four atoms to completely make four bonds and one nitrogen attached to a hydrogen. The three hydroxyls, the catecholamine aromatic ring, and the amine of the epinephrine key all interact with specific amino acids on the membrane receptors. The two catechol hydroxyls interact with serine, and the beta hydroxyl interacts with acetylene. Then the catecholamine aromatic ring interacts with a cluster of aromatic residues and the amine interacts with aspirin. Now that we have the final chemical structure for epinephrine, it can go on to perform its function in the body. When epinephrine is released and transported through the nervous system, its chemical structure acts like a key to a lock, with the lock being the beta adrenergic receptors found on specific heart, lung, liver, and muscle cells. When epinephrine binds to the receptors, the protein changes in shape, which then triggers a cellular response inside of the cell. This response causes the release of glucose from the muscle and the liver cells, which provides you with an instant energy rush. So the next time you're faced with a strenuous task or life or death situation, have no fear, because our good friend Epinephrine is here.